At five, another act has lucked out of the competition to find Britain's next Eurovision act. The show, judged by this man, saw Emperors of Soul booted off last night. Andrew Lloyd Webber said the group would have the most fantastic career as a cabaret act. Jade Ewan, Twins Francine and Nicola Gleedle and Mark Evans will contest the final next week. In at four, more on the shocking story involving a devastated father who just happens to be a Hollywood heavyweight. A Bahamas senator's reportedly been charged in connection with a plot to extort money from John Travolta, whose 16-year-old son Jet suffered a seizure and died at the family's holiday home on January the 2nd this year. Travolta was then told that pictures of Jet's body would be sold if he refused to hand over a sum of money. Senator Pleasant Bridgewater's apparently been charged with two counts of abatement to extort and conspiracy to extort. At three, it's a big thumbs up for the Brits. Tom Cruise has praised our very own actors for being so talented. And he should know his latest film, Valkyrie, is helped along by a truckload of them, including Kenneth Branagh, Bill Nighy, Tom Wilkinson, Terence Stamp and even Eddie Izzard. Tom Hollander also stars and he revealed that behind the scenes, Tom is so much more than just an A-list star. I told him that I was, a bit, I was about to buy a house, but I was a bit worried because I've been reading these reports in newspapers that subprime mortgages are a bit weird and he went what's the move what are you not going to buy it what's that Sub buyer's remorse before you've even bought Hello. and uh and that so told I, you no yeah so i thought yeah i'm such a loser that's why he's tom cruise and i'm tom holland and i'm a, so i picked up the phone said buy it buy it buy it and uh and now look and is wassy back to his old tricks at two Believe it or not, only 24 hours after returning to our airwaves, Jonathan Ross is in hot water again. The presenter appeared to joke on his Radio 2 show about having sex with an 80-year-old woman. The BBC has defended his comments, saying he clearly had no intention to offend anyone. In our number one spot, Kate Winslet is the hot favourite to bag the Best Actress Oscar at this year's awards, if you believe the bookies. She's attracted ten times more money than her nearest rival in the betting. The 33-year-old has already won critical acclaim for her role in The Reader, in which she plays a Nazi concentration camp guard who has an affair with a teenager. One of her rivals for the title, Anne Hathaway, told us how happy she was to make her latest film, Rachel Getting Married, in which she plays a drug addict trying to get back to a normal life. I've encountered, and I'm sure you can imagine, you know, the idea, are you a good girl or a bad girl? And I've gotten that since I was 16 years old, and it's just a, such a silly argument. And so to have a girl that doesn't matter, it was so cool to get to play her. And that, it was Jonathan Demi saying, yeah, I, I see, I see this depth in you. I mean, I still kind of can't believe that.